Hey everybody and welcome back. I'm certainly glad you could join me today. In this video we're going to expand on what we did in our last video and we're going to create some proper hair. Before I get started I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who subscribes and hits the notification icon that really helps me out and of course a big thank you to my patrons and members. Your names are going to be running across the bottom of the screen as we speak. If you are interested in supporting the channel feel free to visit the Patreon link in the description below or simply become a member of the channel by hitting the join button next to the subscribe button. So let's get started then. As you can see, I've got Genesis 8 female loaded into the scene. I've removed her eyebrows and we're ready to export her into ZBrush, which we're going to do now by selecting Genesis 8 female and hitting the ZBrush Gozi notification button. And the first thing we do is close the light box and then select our Genesis 8 female tool and drag her out. Then we go into edit mode and we can rotate her. If we hold down the shift key, she will snap to the nearest 90 degree angle. And then once we have her facing the camera, we can hit frame up. I'm just gonna move her down a little bit. And now if we hold down control and shift, we can select just her head like so. Now what we wanna do is in the geometry tab on the right hand side, we want to go to modify topology and we're going to hit delete hidden and now we can frame up the head and all the rest of the geometry has gone now because we're doing this just for the hair the actual resolution of the main model itself doesn't really matter so what we can actually do is we can divide the mesh multiple times i would go down to about five to give us a nice smooth surface to work on so that we can mask out some really good cool areas without worrying too much about it being blocky or anything like that. So what we want to do now is we're going to reduce the size of our brush down like so, so that it's a sensible size and then holding down the control key we can start masking out an area. Now if we press the X key we can turn on symmetry so that everything that we select becomes masked on the other side and that just speeds up the process a little bit. So there you go, we've got a nice smooth mask in which we're going to now turn into a poly group by doing the control W keyboard shortcut. And then if we actually turn on poly groups, you can see that our hair cap has now become a poly group. So now we're gonna frame up again and we're gonna actually select different areas but the first thing we want to do is control shift and click on our poly group like that just so that we're only seeing the hair cap itself and we've still got our symmetry turned on so we need to actually turn that off now and what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to increase the size of my brush to about an eight and then holding down the control key i'm going to select the side of the head like that and then I'm going to press Control W again. Now I'm going to come across and I'm going to mask out a bangs slash forehead kind of area like that. Control W again. And then we're going to mask off this side of the head. Like so. Control W again. And I don't think our bangs one took. So I'm just going to redo that one. You don't want them to overlap the other groups too much, but it's not the end of the world if it does. There we go. And then last but not least, just gonna rotate it so that we can do the back of the head as well. Control. And 
the reason we didn't do this with symmetry on is so that we have a little bit of variation on. we don't want it to be sort of completely identical on both sides and then control w again and there you go so now we've got lovely hair cap all masked off and ready to rock and roll so what we need to do now is we need to mask off this whole area so i'm going to just turn on symmetry again and i'm going to give myself a nice big brush size and we're just going to mask off the whole hair cap make sure that we've got it all perfect and then we're going to come into our fiber mesh so we close down geometry and we go into fiber mesh and we're going to hit preview now what we want to do is we want to open our modifiers and i'm going to drop the max fibers right down to sort of 15 and we're going to change the length to a little bit longer so let's just come out of there like that and i think we can probably work with it being a little bit longer still so let's go up to like 600 in length like that so what we also want to do is turn off the twist set that to zero and we're going to turn off gravity as well because we want to be able to style everything ourselves we're going to turn the segments up to a, probably about 25 just means making it combing it is going to be considerably easier and i think we're going to turn up the coverage to about 55 like that and then that just makes the hair nice and thick and now that we've done that we're going to hit accept and we're going to turn on fast preview mode just so that we can work a little bit more quickly and now that we've done that, what we're going to do is go into our preview settings and I'm going to turn this down to about 33. That just reduces the number of fibers on the screen so that we're not working with a huge, great wadge. Um, just makes life a little bit more simple, really. And as you can see, I just opened the brush menu and I've dragged this down into this window here so that I can see the settings for the brushes that I'm using. And for every brush that we have, there's a fiber mesh settings section which we can play around with as we need to. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna press the B key to bring up our brushes and then we're gonna just select the snake hook brush and we're gonna switch our preserve length all the way to up. And we're gonna make sure that our front collision tolerance is at zero and our front collision variations is zero. And then stiffness, I'm gonna put up to about 50 and then we can actually start combing our hair using the snake hook brush like this which is very handy indeed and we of course we can rotate around and once you've sculpted your hair to whatever wacky madness you want to use then obviously you're going to need to come back up to the top menu here and go to export and you can just export it as whatever you want and then jump straight back into das studio where we're going to import our mesh and we're going to hit accept on the prompt that appears and lo and behold there's our <laughs> our completely bonkers hairstyle which we can color however we see fit. But before we do that, we're going to hit the transfer tool on the right hand side here. And we're going to go to transfer Genesis 8 female to fiber 16, which is the name of the file that I saved it as. That's going to be different for you. Then we're going to change it to short hair template and we're going to hit accept. And now that that's fitted to our hair, we can fiber 16, we can change the color of our surface by going to base color. And we can just give her a funky hairdo as we see fit. Now, obviously, you're going to sculpt hair that looks a lot better than this, but it serves the purpose of this tutorial. And when we jump into NVIDIA IRA preview mode, you can see your beautiful hairstyle brought to life. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Uh -huh.